Out of the battle to replace Obamacare, President Trump has embraced the new Republican bill, calling it a great health care program. But health analysts say millions could lose this the coverage they now have, the and conservative leaders are refusing to sign on, saying the new bill is Obamacare light. ABC's Mary Bruce is covering all the action on Capitol Hill. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, George. This morning, House members are plowing ahead, taking up the new GOP health care bill for consideration, even though members of their own party say it's already dead on arrival. This bill. Republicans have a new health care plan and a new revolt. If it's Obamacare light, Obamacare in a different form. This is instead a step in the wrong direction. And as much as anything, it's a missed opportunity. Conservative Republicans say the new plan doesn't go far enough, blasting the push to replace Obamacare subsidies with tax credits to help buy insurance. The plan also ends government penalties over time for the uninsured and ultimately freezes the expansion of Medicaid, which critics say will take a serious toll on lower income Americans. So is this bill in its current form a complete non-starter for you? I think it's dead on arrival. I don't think conservatives will vote for it. We do agree on repeal. We just don't quite agree on replacement, and I just don't think it's going to happen. President Trump responding overnight, tweeting, I feel sure that my friend Rand Paul will come along with the new and great health care program because he knows Obamacare is a disaster. The president Tuesday seemed to be having fun as he surprised tourists at the White House. But he has his work cut out for him. He's embracing the House GOP plan and now trying to sell it. I think we're going to have a tremendous success. Uh, it's a complicated process, but actually it's very simple. It's called good health care. Online, a frenzy of memes posted on social media hitting the new plan, reading Obamacare versus GOP replacement, implying the replacement will be less desirable. Now, all jokes aside, the stakes here are huge. By one estimate, 10 million Americans could lose coverage under this new plan. Now, Republican leaders insist this will improve access and lower health care costs. We won't know that exact number, just how many could lose coverage until next week. George. Okay, Mary Bruce, thanks very much.